Now the Ford Endeavor is a brand that needs no introduction. It is the last generation Endeavor which spearheaded Ford India's charge in the premium SUV segment of India. However, the rather invincible Toyota Fortuner hogged away all the limelight from the earlier Endeavor. Today though, I am with the new Ford Endeavor which not only becomes the new flagship product from Ford India but also promises to bring back the lost glory to the Endeavor moniker. Stay tuned for all the details on this new SUV. Now the last generation Ford Endeavor, all thanks to its large dimensions and a butch exterior design had a lot of street presence and the new Endeavor is only better in this aspect. Not only does it get a really macho exterior design but its styling elements such as LED DRLs, chrome plated front grille, skid plates, stylish 18 inch alloy wheels and 4 air vents ensure that this car grabs a lot of eyeballs on the road. So if you thought that the new Endeavor looks really modern on the outside, you sure need to check the interior. This ample usage of beige and high quality plastics and the design of the dashboard, especially the center console, reminds me of some cars from the Range Rover. The cabin feels sufficiently airy at front and there are ample storage spaces for knickknacks. As you can see, right now I'm in the middle row of the new Ford Endeavor and I must say, the cabin feels as spacious here as it does while sitting at the front. Here as well, the seats are supremely comfortable and you get a handful of really clever and practical bits such as roof mounted air vents, climate control for the rear passengers and individual seat adjusts. Right now I'm in the last row of the seats and as you can see, with the middle row pushed entirely backwards, it gets quite a squeeze to sit here. However, this row of seats can still be used for short journeys or by kids and pets. We are driving the 2.2 AT variant of the new Ford Endeavor and powering this SUV is a 4-cylinder turbocharged 2.2 liters diesel engine which belts out a maximum power of 160 PS and a peak torque of 385 Nm. Now this engine displaces less than the old Endeavor's 2.5 liter motor. However, it is more powerful and definitely more refined. It is also more fuel efficient and you can safely expect an average fuel economy of 10 to 11 km per litre. While this is a really decent motor, we need to mention here that the 2.2 litre variant of the new Endeavour isn't as quick as say the new Trailblazer. Even the 6-speed automatic transmission that's available on this car is a bit slow when it comes to shifts and leaves a little more to be desired. However, please don't get us wrong, for this is a really decent transmission and it's just that when you're in a mood for some spirited driving, that it leaves a little more to be desired. Much like the earlier model, the new Endeavor boasts of a ladder on frame construction. However, Ford has replaced the leaf spring suspension at the rear with a coil spring unit, which means that the body roll is better contained. The new Endeavor comes with an electronic power steering, which is light at low speeds, but does weigh up a fair bit as speeds rise. In terms of ride quality, the new Endeavour scores pretty well. It swallows in most of the undulations with quite an ease and the passengers won't ever complain of any sort of discomfort even on the rough roads. The new Ford Endeavour has a lot going for it. For starters, it looks really good and even on the inside, the cabin is very premium. It also gives you a lot of features and the ride and handling is almost spot on. True, the 2.2 litre diesel engine isn't very powerful but there's hardly anything else that we can complain of. Look no further if you're in the market for a butch, comfortable and a feature-laden modern SUV. So with this, I come to the end of our video review. I hope you liked it. Subscribe for more such videos and don't forget to hit the like button. I'm your host Siddharth signing off. Thanks for watching.